Hello. Today, we're filling some gaps in my closet. All right, so I should clarify. I'm not filling the gaps in my closet right now, so this isn't a clothing haul or a shopping haul. It's more of a internet window shopping, I guess. As you know, or as you might not know, if you're new here, hello, I'm Amity, a personal style enthusiast who is currently on her own personal style journey. And I have just wrapped up a closet editing series. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that playlist down below um, if you'd like to give it a watch. But after this closet edit, and for a few months now doing styling videos, I have noticed gaps in my wardrobe. So I wanted to do a more casual, sit down, chatty video. Um, these gaps, there aren't very many. I think there are five items that are at the top of my list. Uh, of course, there are always beautiful things that I would like to have, but these five are what I want to concentrate on budget-wise um, and any future shopping that I do. So I thought I would bring you along on a little internet browse for some ideas about the pieces I would like to add to my closet. So if that's something you'd be interested in watching, let's get started. All right, so piece number one is a light, neutral, structured handbag. I love a good structured bag. I already have my black Kate Spade, um, as you've seen in a number of my videos, probably all of my videos. And I have come across the problem of wanting to put outfits together that might be comprised of lighter tones, lighter blues, um, maybe beige or off-white uh, dress or pants or the like. And sometimes black is just visually too heavy for those types of outfits. And in the back of my head, I'm always like, man, if I only had a light neutral back, this would be the perfect outfit. So um, I went on a bit of a, a browse online and I know that Kate Spade um, has them. I think I've seen a few from Marc Jacobs. Um, most bag, uh, handbag brands have obviously not light neutral um, options in their bags. But I want to be a little more particular and uh, a little side note for the pieces that I'm talking about today uh, and really any pieces that I want to bring into my closet in the future. I would like to get second hand first. Um, I would prefer a leather handbag, um, but I would prefer to do that uh, or get that material second hand if possible. Um, but I know that's not always possible. It's only dependent on um, how particular I want to be. So I browsed a bit, saw a few things show up, but I think what really caught my eye was a bag from Strathberry. Uh, it's a bag brand that has gotten popular in the last few years. And I think I found their uh, tote in a mushroom oak. This kind of looks like an off-white and maybe a light gray. I think it's difficult to tell on my monitor, but that caught my eye. Uh, it is definitely something, even on sale, I think, uh, when I did this screen capture. Um, it's something to budget for, as most leather goods are, but that's kind of the idea uh, I am thinking about for mostly summer, 
uh, outfits um, that I would like to put together with a lighter toned bag, but keeping it within the structured um, genre, if you will, because that's just what I naturally gravitate to. So that's kind of something that uh, has been on the top of my shopping priority list. Shopping priority number two would be a black trench. And this should come as no surprise to anybody who has been here for any amount of time, really. Uh, I get so much use out of my Burberry trench, and there have been times, usually in the fall, winter months, that I've just put an outfit together and I would think, gosh, I don't want to be so dressed up. I would like that just tweak of casual chic, if you want to call it that. And a black trench coat would just look superb, and I don't have one. So because I know how much use I get out of my uh, khaki colored, my beige, typical Burberry, um, I know that I would get a great deal of use out of a black one as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be Burberry, though I wouldn't say no. Um, my Burberry trench that I have currently is secondhand. I did buy it off of the Real Real, so that's the first place I went to browse and look. And yes, they have plenty of black trench coats, and they have plenty of Burberry trenches, um, which like I said, I wouldn't say no to if I just couldn't find um, exactly what I was looking for. I do want something that's a little different. Um, I mean, there's Burberry Brit, there's Burberry London, there's Burberry Persome, and each of them have different cuts, different materials, different fits. Um, but I wouldn't be against looking outside of Burberry, and I did find one here on the Real Real um, from Anna Kwan, I believe is the name of the designer, and this one is on sale, and I like the look of it, mostly the sleeves. They're a bit wider and more exaggerated. They're not as tailored as what I'm used to and what most of my coats um, look like or fit on me. And so that's why this one caught my attention. Um, looking at the measurements, these sleeves would be terribly long on me. So uh, I did not bite the bullet and pick it up immediately, which is what I was going to do. Uh, but something like this, either there's something different in the silhouette or there's mixed materials, maybe leather or um, darker denim or something along those lines, something that makes it a little different than what all of my other coats look like and especially what my current trench looks like. But that is uh, another piece that is at the top of my list because I know that I would just get so much wear out of it and it would go so nicely with everything else in my closet. Shopping priority number three is a pair of off-white or ivory flats. And this harkens back to shopping priority number one, which is there are times when I want to put a visually lighter outfit together and black just isn't going to cut it. And I always think, gosh, if I just had dot dot dot, if I had a pair of ivory colored flats or heels, uh, this outfit would look fantastic. A plus, great. Um, so I've been keeping my eye out on uh, flats of this nature, of this color, especially, especially, excuse me, during the summer months because obviously summer kind of gears itself 
towards lighter colors. And I believe I came across a pair from Vivaya, uh, which is a company that I am familiar with. I haven't um, tried any of their shoes yet, but I know that there are a lot of people who have done reviews and such here on YouTube. Um, they are made of a woven plastic, but they're pointed toe. They're that ivory color that uh, I'm trying to, to find nothing too warm because I think it would look odd against my skin tone, but nothing stark white because I know that will look odd against my skin tone. But I like the uh, look of these, the woven kind of texture. It's interesting. It isn't just a flat leather or pleather um, look. So those are an option. Or I found some on Journey Collection. And again, they kind of have that woven or ribbed look to them. Um, these are made of a fabric uh, instead of plastic. So that might kind of edge me more towards this specific pair. My only problem is I'm not sure about the, um, the ankle strap. I've had shoes with those ankle straps in, uh, in the past and they've irritated my ankle. They've hurt. So I kind of up in the air with these two pairs that I found, but it's possible that later on, uh, as I continue to look, I'll find another pair, but this is kind of the, the vibe I'm going for something in this color scheme, but has some visual interest of its own that it will, uh, they will add to the overall outfit um, so that I don't have to rely on my black flats so much because they just don't always go with the lighter schemed outfits that I would like to put together, especially during the summer months. Shopping priority number four would be a pair of black leather knee-high boots. Now, I have a pair of brown boots that I bought off of the Real Real, and then I have a pair of uh, black and brown riding boots that I wear a great deal during the fall and winter. But I would like to get a pair of just black um, because, again, as the theme is for this video, I will come up with outfits and gosh. A pair of black knee-high boots would look fantastic with that maxi skirt or dress with the sweater thrown over, you know, those Pinterest pictures, very chic, very effortless, all the buzzwords. And the riding boots don't really give the vibe because they have a wider shaft and they have that buckle, which isn't necessarily what I see in my head when I see me in these outfits that I would like to put together. So while I was browsing, I saw a few from Journey, um, the Journey collection. I think some popped up from Nordstrom. These are not hard to find, these boots. They come around every fall, winter. Um, I think the big thing for me is that I want them to be leather because I know that they are going to last much longer and so this is probably something that I would most likely go onto the real real to look for secondhand because I'm specifically looking for a leather product. And I've seen on the real real a lot of the um, the chunky sole kind of boots that were big for the last year or two, and that just is, isn't my jam. So something slender, a little more fitted to the body or to the leg, uh, pointed toe, obviously, uh, is what I'm keeping my eye out on. Uh, that isn't something that I need right now because we are in the middle of summer, but it is definitely something that I am keeping an outfi out, uh, keeping a look out for <laughs> words and hopefully um, I'll be able to come up with something that really works for the outfits that I have planned. 
And shopping priority number five would be a pair of dark wash flare denim. Now, this is something that I have been looking for for years since I let go of the other pair I owned. Um, they no longer fit. They were low rise, which is a rise that I am no longer interested in wearing. And it's probably been the most difficult thing to find, which surprises me because as much as the 70s era trend comes and goes, I find that flares kind of stick around as a denim silhouette, but I've had the darndest time finding a dark wash pair. A lot of light wash, but not a dark indigo, which is what I would prefer. Um, now, I did come across a pair from Paige. I don't know if you can see the price tag of these jeans, but I'm not paying it. Uh, sorry. They either have to go way on sale or I need to find them secondhand. Um, the other part of this is that I don't know how Paige jeans fit, so I wouldn't know sizing wise um, what would work for me. But this look, this darker wash, the flare isn't so obnoxiously large that it feels trendy, but that there's enough of a flare that you get what it's supposed to be. Because the problem that I have with boot cuts is that it's so subtle that it's not giving me that 70s vibe that I specifically want from this silhouette of jeans. So these page jeans are the closest I've come to. Um, again, I'm being very particular. I want to find things that are going to last me, uh, well, as long as I can possibly have them, and that I'm going to get wear out of. I don't want to settle for these things specifically, but really for anything uh, that I plan to purchase in the future. I have just edited my closet. There's only so much real estate in that closet, and I want to make sure that I'm putting things in there that deserve to be there. So those are the five priority pieces that I am looking for uh, in the coming months, probably year. Again, it will depend on budgeting and what I feel I need right now and the things that I feel I can wait a little bit longer. Like that light neutral purse, it's going to cost a pretty penny. So that's something I might not be able to get for a while. But those are the things I'm keeping an eye out for. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this more casual, chatty video. Uh, my last videos were very uh, energy zapping with as declutters usually are. So I just wanted to have a sit down, a chat, do a little browsing, and I hope you enjoyed. So that is it for me today. Um, I should be coming up, or the next video should be a summer outfits video. So look forward to that. And I will see you all then. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, until next time, I look forward to seeing you. Take care.